All right, guys, welcome back to VintageMagic.com. All right, that was my son there. He's why that was awesome. All right, guys, welcome back. This is Joe from Mythic Markets, and uh, we're back doing the opening for the Legends Booster Packs. Joe, who's this guy? What's that? DJ and Dan. You see that, guys? DJ and Dan. Uh, Joe is uh, a friend of mine, and Joe, why don't you take it away in your magic story of Legends? Sure. Uh, so I'm Joe, uh, founder and CEO of Mythic Markets, and uh, right now we're doing some Legends booster pack openings. Um, I haven't opened one of these in 27 years, something like that. And uh, I actually remember, I mean, I've only opened one actually. And so I, I, I remember when these came out and uh, I was uh, at the Northgate Mall in San Rafael uh, and at the Game Gallery of Carmel, which was our local LGS there. And they had one box, and they limited, uh, it was limited to one pack per person, there's a long line, and we all sort of uh, got our pack and opened it. Um, obviously there's like no internet back then, then, no spoilers, no, nobody knew what was in these things. And so, um, you know, when you opened it, it was just, everyone was just like kind of oogling it over everybody's packs, what are these cards in here? And, um, I mean, I certainly didn't know what I was doing back then. I think I was 14. Um, and what, were the, what was the original price of these? Like three bucks? The 245? It's on the side right there, in the box. 245. Uh, 245. Right. What are these today? Like a thousand dollars plus. And I remember opening uh, the pack. Uh, I don't remember the, the, the commons or uncommons, but I do remember the rare. And it was a Marhalt Els Dragon. Totally uninteresting rare. Uh, I think the chase stuff on the box was like a, a nickel bolus. Um, but, uh, and, and probably the most interesting interesting thing I saw that day were a, um, a mana drain and a carrion ants. Uh, and so, uh, <laughs> um, decent card actually. Uh, at the time, especially. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, so it's been, it's been a long, long time since I've got to do this. So this is a real privilege. And, uh, uh, you know, thank you to... Garrett. It? Garrett for uh, having us and, and allowing me to do this with, uh, with everyone here. So. God, you're the most professional person. Why don't you uh, run the company for, for Vintage Magic, please? I, I honestly, you're, the, you're so much more professional than I am. <laughs> He's more well spoken than any of us. Yeah. All right, guys, you guys excited? We're back also with our crew, Dana. Charles is opening here soon. Dana hasn't opened his yet. And uh, if you notice something, the scenery is different because what happened was we all got kind of tired. And uh, you guys, if you guys didn't see the video, Brian Weissman opened the tabernacle, oh and then the, the world exploded. So and crazy, it was sick. Oh all right, guys, enjoy the video and the opening. Thanks. Vintage Magic. Game. Collect. Invest. For more information about our consulting and professional services, visit VintageMagic.com. And we're back. Joe, good luck. Four Legends packs. Thank you, Garrett, again. Let's go, Joe. Awesome. We're in pack one. So the bet's already off, by the way. Brian won. Unless, Joe, you pull a tabernacle. Yeah. <laughs> Has it ever happened? I don't two? think so. No? No, no, I've never heard of it. Just in general, like even with beta, I've opened beta, all that stuff. That'd be a nice There's box. There's tons of duplicates in the uncommon space, though. I mean, it's like... Yeah, yeah it's so crazy. we got yeah. a... Arabians uh, is different. Morning yeah. Cobra. Yeah, it's different. Subdue. Energy Tap. Subdue. Giant Slug. Clergy. It's kind of something we need to do with Mark. Blazing Effigy. Him. I'm betting. Devouring Deep. Siphon Soul. Wolverine Pack. Active Volcano. The last common is a Remove Soul. Here we go to the uh, Uncommon this section. This is really nostalgic for you, isn't it, Joe? Heart Water. It's been a while. Yeah. It's Marvel yeah, Precinct. Some new yeah, things. That's actually a decent that's a new one, yeah. Can be created. And Crevasse. Alright. All right. Here we go. Oh, Horn of Stephanie. Oh, that's, that's a rare. rare. Oh, that's, Wait, that's, a, that's, reserve that's a rare. Too, actually. Really? That's reserve list too. Mm -hmm. By the way, we have our friend Dana here. He's like the legends mm -hmm. guru. Guru. The I don't know about that. Greatest. <laughs> is that your favorite? <laughs> no, Dana, you're gonna have to tell your story. By the yeah, way, yeah, sure, yeah. Dana. By the way, is a finance like in the financial world, and uh, you can probably talk more about that when he does a little intro. 
So you haven't opened this for over 25 plus whatever years it is. Yeah, uh, whatever. Uh, 94 will be 27. It's crazy. Yeah, right? All right. Put that there. How old were you at uh, that point? 14. Mm. All right, is it, is it rolling? Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, the lights are... Is that are... wild? No, no, it's better lighting. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's better. Um, it's so wild, like $2.45, but back in that day, 94... I only made like five fifty bagging groceries at Safe at the yeah, grocery yeah, store. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's like, like that's like that's good like, money back then. That's like yeah. thirty minutes. Yeah, that's it's more than minimum. And I I don't ever remember paying two forty five. I feel like they marked them up at where no. I was. Yeah. Had, like, had I, I didn't pay. I didn't pay two forty five ever for a pack. We're doubling up on everything right now, yeah, on really everything. Two forty five guys. Shit. Wait, what? Yeah, what? Uh, that's a duplicate. Oh my gosh, it's, it's all exact duplicate. duplicate pack. Oh, oh, except oh, for the no That's the crazy. Flat Warriors. Were you talking about all from the previous thing? Yeah. yeah it was the like, exact same exact first ten. The first yeah, seven, seven or eight. Cards. There is box mapping, but the thing is, Legends, there's no sheets that are shown yet. There's only two sheets ever created of um, each one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and that's why we can't really map it. We don't know. Card. That card's... What we got? And... Oh, what? Oh, Revelation. 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 Yeah. Okay. Bad. It's not bad. Have all these rares gone up, Dana? If, yes. As a quad, I, I, haven't five, looked, I haven't looked at them. Revelation at quad 9.5 is pretty decent, actually. No, it's a little decent. You're the quad master. Yeah. I just like the quad. I mean, yeah, it, he, he's they're, trying they're to make not very sense. expensive, and, and nobody really wants them. It's like Joe, Michael Joe wants them, and a couple other guys, but it's like, I don't know. I just kind of like I thought them. he's done collecting. I think he's done. I think he may, may be trying to exit or something. Like Didn't he list all his stuff? Yeah. Was like ridiculous, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, back to Joe. Here we go. Giant, Giant strength. strength. Force Spike. Glyph of Doom. Holy Day. Pyrotechnics. Boomerang. Uh, Anti-Magic Aura. Oh, Boomerang Headless is good Horseman. with Stasis deck. I love Stasis deck. Caltrops. Vampire Bats. Uh, keepers, all right. Uncommons. Oh, oh that's a hundred. That's a hundred. I like that card. I like that card. I like play with that card too. Abomination, some new stuff. Oh, oh that's a good one. And uh, Sphinxy. Okay. Did we get a Sphinx? <laughs> Is that a Legends card? I didn't even know that was a rare. <laughs> Did we get that card? I feel like no. we might have, no. Mm. Okay, we got a Sphinx or something. I didn't know that was a rare. I didn't know. It's a strange card. A couple of those I didn't know. I didn't know Horn Daphne was a rare. Yeah, reserve list too. Well, what's the winner there is the Winds of Change. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. that's a nice card. Winds of Change. It's a very good card on the Underworld Dreams deck. I, I, I had that deck. And nice. I would have brought it. it was like, nice. So card. much fun to play that deck because you can wipe somebody out like out of nowhere. So know? annoying. Just an instant wipe out. And the final and the pack. Final pack. I, I have to say, I think your uncommon slot was more valuable than the the, the rare rares. slot. Yeah. At least on the last So I wonder one. what box we've get, got here. I think it's no Mana Drain box. I think it's the Karakas box. Yeah. We got two Karakas. I pulled yeah. the Karakas. So I pulled good. two Karakas. Boom, boom. Here we go with a lot of the same Raging stuff. Bowl. Fire Sprites. Kobolds. That's what's annoying Transmutation. Yeah, with Kitkin. Ores. Uh, enchantment Alteration. Pit Scorpion. All right. Uh... Jedi. I always thought oh, he Jedi. was a rare. I thought he was a rare before, but not. Uh, greater yeah, Realm that's of Preservation. Nice well this is seventy. This is uh, actually uh, seventy-five dollars, and, nice and I thought this was a rare. I really like the art. It's not cool too. Divine Transformation is the uh, is the big ten. All right, here we go. Oh, oh dude, 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 dude if, if you get that one well centered, it's worth a lot. The quad is like it's crazy to get a quad in that. It's crazy. God, it's crazy. The printing on the Legends was just not good. The, it's, it's it just was not, off -centered, just not yeah. good. Well, I mean, it's one. six right. for a, or a seven for a six six. Yeah, that's only targeting swamps. Yeah. When I grew up as a kid, Legends was definitely my favorite set. It just, I love the the, gold the gold Legend gold. cards. The yeah. Legend cards. I mean, I, was, I love Chromium. Yeah, the yeah, power yeah. creep really stepped up at Legends, so I mean that was probably a big part of it. I think that drew me into Magic more. Is uh, that the next you want to go, Charles? Or you want me to go? And then and then it fell. With All right, guys. Well, there you go. Hold on a second, Joe. Yeah. How was it? That was a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. Didn't um didn't hit anything nuts, but uh. Wait, Charles, you going poop? What are you going? I'm kissing. It's all, it's rolling too, by the way. 
<laughs> you guys want to see uh, you hear Charles piss? Here we go. Five seconds. Oh Ten. Uh, nine. Uh, but Joe, uh, tell, real quick, Mythic Markets, what are you guys offering right now? What's going on with there? New, the new stuff. Yeah. Uh, Metroid. NES Metroid is up there now, along with um, All-Star Metroid Comics 8, Gangster. which is the first uh, Wonder Woman. And um, and from Magic, the Benelish Hero. So you, you, Wonder so, Women of uh, pop culture. So you have you have you have multiple stuff going on right now. Uh, yeah, there are three right now. Cool. And again, mythicmarkets.com. Yes. All right. Are you guys planning to do shows next year? What's going on with that? Uh, we'll see if shows come back. Got it. But you guys do plan on doing shows if it does. We have a lot in the pipeline right now. So, okay. Yeah. All right. Joe's being secretive. All right, guys. Thanks again, Joe. Thanks, Thank Gary. You Take care, guys. Hey everyone, it's me, Daniel, with VintageMagic.com. I want to share with you more about how we handle consignments. So to begin the consignment process, we actually need to start with the consultation service. In this consultation, I will determine what you're looking to do. And generally, consigners usually tell me, hey Dan, I'm looking to sell my items and maximize the value of their collection. After we determine through the consultation, I usually like to do an appraisal process. And in the appraisal process, in terms of a consignment, is more fitted towards authenticity and valuation for current market values. From there, after a contract is crafted and signed, we will then receive the items from you. The reason why our consignment process is very thorough is we also identify cards that could be graded so then they can maximize higher dollar values. So the payment process is very simple. Once we have sold your items, you'll get an updated ledger and we will process payment um, for whatever form of payment you need. As a consigner, you're gonna experience our white glove service. What that means is I'm gonna personally handle your collectibles from beginning to end. And rest assured, the client that purchases your collectibles will also receive the same white glove service. It's a signature service that I really pride myself on in working closely with my clients. Vintage Magic. Game. Collect. Invest. For more information about our consulting and professional services, visit VintageMagic.com.